So I will tell you that this soap is a lightening soap. So if you are looking for something to brighten up your skin, which is soap, not lotion, you can try out this. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. It's your girl Chichi, and I'm back again with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this soap. This soap is called Glitter White Soap. Yeah, Glitter White Soap. So this soap, I've reviewed the lotion, I've reviewed the serum, and this soap is just the one I've never reviewed on this my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you the soap. So guys, you know I told you guys that I was having problems on my on my skin during December time. My skin was like breaking out. I was having lots of pimples on my face and my skin was getting darker and darker and I did not know, I don't even know what to do during that time. So I decided I just remembered that I've used Kuta White lotion before and I do not want to use the lotion, you understand? So I just say, let me just go get the soap. And that's how I got this soap. And I use this soap and it quite lightened my skin. So I will tell you that this soap is a lightening soap. So if you are looking for something to brighten up your skin, which is soap, not lotion, you can try out this lotion. But I'm coming to tell you guys what I like about this soup and what I do not like about this soup. So in my first use, I got one soup. How I did it was I got Kojic White soup. And I got, I used Kojic White for like what, one week. I was getting darker. I had to drop the Kojic White soup. And I got this Glitter White soup. So I got this glitter white soap and I used it. My skin was getting brighter and I was enjoying it. I continued using it till I finished one. Then I went back to my Koji Kwai soap and I started using it again. <laughs> Seriously, this is funny. I was just using my skin to do testing, testing. <laughs> so I went back to my Koji Kwai soap and now I finished it. Is the Kojic white soup that I just finished and I discovered that Kojic white soup was like lightening me wow like wow but this one was not lightening me like that much like Kojic white soup I had to go back to this one this time I got it too <laughs> I got it too and now I still have my Kojic white soup I said, okay, let me drop Koji Kwai soap since I'm getting like fairer. Let me just drop Koji Kwai soap and go back to this one. So as you can see, this one is empty. It's in the bathroom. So I started using it again. Oh my God. Just yesterday I used it. I don't know if it's because it's so hot. It's so hot right now. I used it yesterday night and now today. Seriously, my face was itching. When I finished showering, my face was itching me. So I had to apply this makeup. Like if I come closer, I will show you that my face is like, it has small, small, tiny, like something like rashes on my face. So I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. So I'm just going to try out this soap for like one week again. If it's doing the same thing, I'm going to go back to my Koji Kwai soap. But this is my honest review. Is it a lightning? No. Is it a lightning soup? Yeah, it's a lightning soup. So let's talk about what this soap is made of and how this soap comes and all that. Like I've been blabbing since. So this soap comes like this. This is how it comes. And one thing about this soap, I'm thinking that this soap is an exfoliating soap, yeah. So it should not be used on the face or something. I don't know. This is I don't know if it's the reason why it's itching on my face. I don't know. And I've checked the expiring date. It's going to expire in 2028. So it's not that the product has expired or something, but it's itching my face. I don't know if it's because everywhere is hot or something. I don't know. But so let me show you guys how 
it has these small small tiny particles in it so which makes it an exfoliating soap so it's, if you are looking for something like an exfoliating soap to exfoliate your your skin glitter white can do it for you so this soap contains vitamin c and e it contains vitamin c and it also contains glutathione and collagen so it's a very good lightning soup did i say good yeah it's good i don't know this my second use is what is irritating my skin but the first one i used was okay on my skin so it's a good soup so let's quickly read out what the manufacturer say about the soup and then I, I will share with you the ingredients and how to use it or something so it says that formulated with double active glutathione and collagen glutawide clarifies glutawide clarifying exfoliating so yes you see that it's already written that this is an exfoliating soap smooth cleans the skin without drying and rids of all dead skin it gets rid of all dead skin cells it purifies and eliminates stains and imperfections for all skin type okay this reminds me when i was using this soap i was I have, you know I told you guys that I have dark spots on my legs and I've been trying different products to know if all those dark spots on my leg can go away. So this soap was clearing them, it was eliminating the dark spots on my legs. But when I started using Koji Kwai soap, my leg was like, when you look at my leg, you'll be like, this girl is like bleaching has been understand there is this thing that koji kwai soup does on someone's leg like it's that soup is just one lightning soup like that you understand so this one helps to clear the dark spots on my leg yeah it clears it so let's quickly read out the ingredients of this soap it has sodium palmite it has sodium cocoa cocoa it it has juglans regia walnut which is that tiny tiny things on that on the soup that makes it an exfoliating soup it has shell powder it has aqua which is water it has glutathione it has sodium hydroxide it has sodium carbonite it had it has soluble collagen it has glycerin it has tetrasodium edta it has fragrance and it has fd and c pigments so let's talk about the fragrance does it smell good or does it not smell good okay this soap smells good if you've used the lotion before it just smells like the lotion like but it has this kind of harsh smell not that mild smell you understand but it smells good it doesn't smell bad it just smells like the lotion what again am I, am I not saying about this soup? So that's how, that's my experience with this soup. I don't know if I will continue using this soup or not. I would like give it a trial for like, let me use it tomorrow. I'll use it this night. I'm going to use it this night. Use it tomorrow. If the itching continues, that means I'm not going to be using it. I will just like, just my money will not waste. I'll just be using it on my body. And then I will be using the Kojik white soup on my face. That's how I'm going to be using it. So at this point, if you end up enjoying the video, why not give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more skincare updates. And thank you for watching. Bye.